One of the great things about this show is there's no score. It's really you and the land. There's a reason that there's not cities built up here, that people aren't running around all over the place. It's Mother Nature at her finest, and she's going to keep what's hers. I'm just ready to get out there and make the most of it. These are the 10 items I brought. A negative 40 sleeping bag. Hopefully, that will help me survive these bitter cold nights that are coming. 25 hooks and fishing line to help me stay out here longer because there are plenty of fish in this lake. My next item is a two-quart pot and lid. I can boil water, boil all my food, because I think boiling food is a key to getting the maximum amount of nutrients. My next item is a trapping wire. It has multi-functions, and I only can use it to snare wildlife with, but also it will come in handy for building numerous projects. Next up is my ferro rod and striker. I think being able to easily get a fire going and strike a dependable spark will be key to survival out here. Next item is a multi-tool. There's just no end to use for it. You know, you have pliers, the saw, scissors, and it's an extra knife because two is one and one is zero. Next up is my hand forged Puko knife. It's a nice medium size, heavy blade. It's got a high vis handle. It should be able to handle any camp chore or skinning chore I come across. My next item is an assortment of paracord. You can make anything out of this stuff. It'll be good for structures, good for making traps. Next is my Forester's axe. And it's a good size, good weight. It's just a great size axe. And last and certainly not least is my Osage bow. That's 58 pounds at my draw length. And I brought four arrows with broadheads, as well as three flu flu arrows with judo points for small game. And those are my 10 items. Wish me luck.